In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an inverting summing amplifier, shortly called an adder, and explain the basic principle of how it works. In electronics, we need to add different voltage signals together, or remove an offset from a signal, which means that the defined value is subtracted from the signal. For this example, we will need one operational amplifier one feedback resistor and two input resistors because we want to work with two signals. This is the schematic of the inverting summing amplifier. It is a relatively easy circuit. The output is fed back to the negative terminal of the op amp, while the positive terminal is connected to ground. The most important part are the inputs. In this example we use two, but theoretically you could use an unlimited amount of inputs that you would add together afterwards. The inputs are connected to the negative terminal of the op amp through resistors respectively. Therefore creating a node, let's call it X. Providing negative feedback makes the potential at the node X equal to ground. This is referred to as the golden rule of op amps and it's very important because it gives the circuit its arithmetic functionality. Here is the equation describing the output voltage in dependence of the input voltages and used resistors. The equation shows that the output equals the inverted sum of the input voltages. What's important is that the input signals can be scaled by adjusting the values of the input resistors relatively to the feedback resistors. For example, we could lower the value of the first input resistor to increase the influence of signal 1 a little more. Welcome to the lab. Here I've built the adder circuit. I'm using the LM358P, which includes two normal operational amplifiers, a 1 kilo ohm feedback resistor and two, also 1 kilo ohm, input resistors. Here you can see the first input of the adder. That is the second input and on the right side the output terminal is located. The op amp uses plus minus 12 volts as the supply voltage. In addition, there are some capacitors near the power lines to stabilize the supply voltage in general. For input 1, I chose a square wave with an amplitude of around 1.5 volts and a frequency of 1 kHz whereas input 2 is just 5 volts DC that I wanted to add to our first signal so it shifts a little bit. Let's have a look at the oscilloscope to see if the adder really sums up the input signals like in theory. Our square wave oscillates on channel 1. Here we have the 5 volts from input 2 and on channel 3 the output is measured. We can clearly see that the output is a square wave 2. If we add 5 volts to the amplitude of around 1.5 and invert it, we get minus 6.5 volts. That is the minimum voltage of our output signal. On the other hand, repeating the same calculation here gives us minus 5 volts which is the maximum voltage of the output. So indeed, the adder circuit works perfectly. This is how you can add voltages. I hope you liked this video. If so, subscribe for more and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Thank you for watching until the end.